And so before we go into this, I do want to go ahead and obviously call out Gagina. And there is a method in here where you can sponsor this person. And I would absolutely recommend that you do so. So the moment that we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. And that is that Y2JB has now an official 1.2 release. Now, if you're not sure of what this is, Y2JB is a user land code execution using the PlayStation 5 YouTube app. Now, with this being a user land execution, you would need to chain it with a kernel. And this is already possible because there is a payload in here that you can use with laps. So let's go ahead and take a look at the project. Jumping straight down into the requirements, it does state that at least you need a 4.03 PS5 and that if you do already have a jailbroken PlayStation 5, whether it be using WebKit or Lua or BDJB. Now for non-jailbroken PlayStation 5s, you would just need a USB drive and then a pre-made backup file that you'll be able to get from the releases. For the fake account activation, obviously if you are using a backup file, then you can skip over fake activating. Otherwise, you can come in here and open up the ETA HEN toolbox and then navigate to remote play. And then that account is automatically fake activated. Now, if you already have a jailbroken PlayStation 5, you simply would install the YouTube app and then open up FTP to ensure that you have access to the following path and you would just go ahead and create it if it wasn't present, and then download the file name download0.dat from the releases and send it there. Again, for non-jailbroken PlayStation 5s, you just download the backup file and do a restore backup. So in order for us to go ahead and get started with this, first off, let's go ahead and go up here to code and then select download zip. And we're doing that because we're going to need to have access to these payloads inside of this for a couple of quick tests. Then we're going to come back over into the releases here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Y2JB backup 1.2.zip because what I'm going to do is restore a backup, at least initially. Go ahead and download whichever version makes sense for you. And in my case, I'm going to grab both. Okay, so to begin, we're going to restore the backup first. So I have the Y2JB backup 1.2.zip here, and then I just have a USB drive. I'm just going to grab that PS5 and drop that right on top of the root of my USB drive. Okay, so over on my PlayStation 5, this is a 4.03 system here. And so again, you would need to at least be on 4.03. And we are going to scroll down here and we're gonna take the backup and restore. And we are going to select restore your PS5. And there it is. And it does confirm the version number at 1.2. Go ahead and press X on that. And we are going to take the option to restore. And we are going to select yes again. Okay, it has successfully restored the backup here. And right there is the YouTube app. Obviously, don't click on it. Just at this moment, we can go over to version information and we can see this one is at that 1.000.003 that was in the README. Now, we need to go over here to where it says network and we need to go down to where it says settings and then set up an internet connection. Now, if you see yours, don't just go ahead and click on it right here. Go ahead and scroll all the way down and select set up manually. And now I'm going to select Wi-Fi for my instance, and I'm going to enter this manually. And once you've set your SSID, the security method, and then the password, scroll down here to where it says DNS settings, and we're going to change that to manual. 
And then for the primary DNS, it's going to be 127.0.0.2. We'll select done here and we are going to leave the secondary DNS as blank and now select done. And if you see this error screen here, that is absolutely normal. So at this point, we can go ahead and run the YouTube application. So I'm going to press X on this. And right there it is in all of its glory. Remote JS Loader is listening. And we can go ahead and press X on this screen right here. So I can see down here in the log that it does say it's starting the exploit. And right there it says that the PSN dialog was disabled. It does state that the firmware was detected at 4.03 and that we can see the remote JS loader is listening on that IP address as well as the port number of 50,000. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to the PC and get started sending a payload over. Okay, so remember earlier where we went to code and we downloaded the zip file here. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so I went ahead and extracted mine and inside of this you'll see payloads. And inside of payloads, this is the number of different payloads that we can send over. So what we'll go ahead and do here is we'll just use Netcat GUI version 1.2. You can find this all over the place. And then I'm going to punch in the IP address for my PlayStation 5, as well as the port number being that 50,000. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the laps.js. So at this point, I am ready to go ahead and inject the payload. So let's go ahead and do that now. And right there it is in all of its glory. Wow. Laps has finished. And now it is serving an elf loader. How amazing is that? So with that being the case, we could now go ahead and send over ETA hen. So I'm just going to the official project page and I'm going to go down here and grab the ETA hen 2.3 B dot bin and download it. So now I could come back up here to Netcat GUI and I would just need to change the port number here from 50,000 to 9021. And then for the payload here, we're just going to use ETA hen 2.3b.bin and drop it right there. And now over on the PlayStation 5, if we press inject payload here, we should get ETA hen booting up. And holy cow, right there it is. ETA hen, the configuration file was created and 2.3b is loading in. Absolutely amazing. We will go ahead and go over here to settings and there it is, the ETA hen toolbox. So if I go ahead and go into that, there is my package installer plugins, everything that I already know and love. Okay, that is absolutely amazing now that we can do that just with the YouTube application. Now, I realize that a majority of you probably do not want to reset your PlayStation 5 as I do not want to do that either. So here is my active PlayStation 5 that is sitting over here on 9.60 that I use for my day-to-day -day gaming. So right there we are at 9.60. And now in order to get started with this, you can see that right now over in my media, I don't have the Netflix app or anything installed. So first thing we need to get jailbroken. So I am going to be replacing the Lua implementation that we had been using in the past with this new YouTube application. So no longer will you need one of these expensive Lua disks after we get this installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get jailbroken on this console. Okay, and it looks like that is going to do it. We now have ETA hen 2.4b loaded up as I've been checking out the beta version. 
and we can jump over to settings and then debug settings and from here we can go ahead and install the YouTube application. Okay, you should be able to find the YouTube application 1.03 fake package, but if you can't, you can use this URL and download the base package as well as the USA SC PKG file and then use this tool right here to join them. Basically, once you have those downloaded, you select both of the PKGs and then press the start button and it will give you one final PKG file that is already merged. Okay, and so you should have two files, the merged file and then the download zero. Go ahead and grab both of these files and just copy these to the root of a USB drive. And you should have the PKG there and then go ahead and just extract that zip file. So you should see a download zero. Let's go ahead and just get rid of the zip file. And these are the two files that you should have, as well as PS5 Explorer if you were using that. Okay, so since we're already jailbroken and we have ETA Hen, so we'll go ahead and go to package installer here and we are going to install the YouTube application. Great, that has been installed and we can go right up here to media and right there is the YouTube application. And if we go to information, we can see we are on 1.000.003. Okay, excellent. So from here, let's go ahead and go to games and we are going to take advantage of PS5 Explorer just because I find it a bit easier than FTP. We're gonna take root access and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here to mount and we're gonna to go to our USB zero and I'm going to select the download zero dot dat. I'm gonna press the triangle button. I'm going to select the option here to copy with the X button. We'll press circle and we'll scroll down and go into our user folder and then we need to go to where it says download and now we need to create a folder here so i'm going to create a new folder and we're going to give it the name of ppsa01650 and press done here and now we're going to go into that folder and we're going to press the triangle button here and we are going to select paste okay so we are not done yet let's go ahead and go back to home and let's go over to settings and we're going to go to network settings and we're going to go over here to settings again and we're going to go set up an internet connection and just like we did before we're going to scroll down here to set up manually okay once you have your ssid security method and your password again we're going to go down to dns settings change that to manual and then change this to 127.0.0.2 and press done here and select done again. And again, if you see this, then that is okay. So at this point, we are ready to run it, but first off, we are already jailbroken. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the console and we will be able to jailbreak this time without using Lua and only with the YouTube application. Okay, so here we are. We are logged into our system and for the first time, I can actually hit the eject button on that because we are about to get jailbroken just with the YouTube application. And we're gonna to go to YouTube here and if everything works as intended, which it looks like it is, we are going to be able to run ETA Hen again. So right there it is, it is listening on 10.0.0.58.50,000. And so here I've went ahead and put in my PS5's IP address, port 50,000. And again, there is the laps.js and there it goes yet again. Laps has been finished and now it is serving the Elf Loader. And so now I am using one of the latest beta versions of ETA Hen. Again, I've just changed the port to 9021 
and we're going to press inject payload on that one. And right there it is. We have got KStuff 1.6.4 running on a PlayStation 5 9.60, and ETA Hen is loading up. Okay, and there we go. We have got 2.4B now running on our 9.60 machine. How freaking cool is that? So now at this point, I do not need that Lua disc. And if I did want to go ahead and run maybe one of my game backups, which is Plants vs. Zombies Replanted for the PlayStation 4, then my game is going to work as expected. So anyways, really great job by Gagina on this and definitely donate to them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out! Oh.